welcome this is the RPA champion and in today's video we are going to understand what is IBM Watson Discovery so in just one sentence if we were to summarize what is Watson Discovery we would say that Watson Discovery is a tool that helps us understand large amounts of data that's it so in detail we are going to see it but basically Watson Discovery helps us understand uh, many web many different websites articles and all of this data and it helps us get understanding from it now there is a much more structured approach to explaining it such as that it allows us to uh, ingest data uh, structure on our structured data from websites data from uh, documents data from uh, all kinds of uh, all kinds of files so it allows us to structure uh, ingest large amounts of data then after that it enriches this data with sentiment analysis with entities with concepts so it uh, allows us to get meaningful insight in our data so by enriching the data with, uh, with these categories uh, it allows us allows us to understand what our data means it allows uh, allows us to group it to understand the different concepts in it to categorize it to get the sentiment and so on and finally it allows us really quickly to query and to interrogate this data so it allows us to get meaningful insight into our data and we're gonna see exactly right now how uh, how Watson discovery works and how we can use it in applications that we build so basically Watson is built so that you can integrate it into different applications that you build you can build these applications on IBM cloud or you can build them on any other uh, tool why because it allows you to uh, via API call to export this information and I will so show you also what I mean so right now let's log into IBM cloud and let's access our IBM Watson discovery service <music> we go to our services and in our services if you haven't already done so you should set up an IBM Watson discovery instance I will show you how to do it in another tab very quickly it is very straightforward so all you have to do is go to services look for AI and machine learning after that you would go to Watson discovery And once the page loads, you would select which location and where you would like to create your instance. And after that, you would uh, select the plan that you would like to use. So there is a free plan that you can use. So, and this free plan allows you to use it quite extensively and already uh, get familiar with it and understand really if it's worth for you updating for a uh, premium plan or if you don't like to use it anymore. But anyway, so just create it. It's, uh, you don't have to do anything else. Uh, once you click this, you will be redirected to the page that I will show you right now, what's in discovery. So this is the page that is going to be created once, once, once the Watson Discovery service is created. So this is the main page that allows you to launch a different instance of Watson Discovery. And it also allows you to access a getting started tutorial that is uh, very good. You will find a lot of useful information here. It also allows you to uh, change your plan that we have set up previously and also show you connections and integrations with other IBM apps that you might have. So let's go to our uh, IBM Watson Discovery. So here we are. This is the tool of IBM Watson Discovery. It already comes pre-configured with a directory called Watson Discovery News. This is uh, what we're going to go through right now. So this is already a container of data. So Watson Discovery allows you to create different containers of data. And this one has already been pre-set up by IBM to give you an example of the features and functionality of what Watson Discovery can do. So this container has been loaded with 15 million documents so far. It has been uh, added 200,000 documents per day in the English language and 20 in the Spanish language and so on so this is a huge repository of information and documents so uh, it also 
tells us some enrichments that were done to our text and we'll get into enrichments in just a little bit. Uh, it shows us overall sentiment analysis of all of these documents. So we can see that overall sentiment analysis of all of these 15 million documents is uh, positive. Uh, and also this is what I was telling you guys before about querying. So right now we want to get some insight into this data. We have 15 million documents. How can we get some meaningful insight into this data? So once we have enriched our data and apply different enrichments and categorize it, and once Watson Discovery is, does this automatically for us, once we configure it uh, here in the enrichments, uh, we'll be able to, uh, let's go back here, we'll be able to run this Queries. So let me show you what I mean by queries. So here, for example, we have uh, different queries that we can run. And here we have the result of what is returned. So what is returned is returned based on uh, all of the information that we provided in Watson Discovery, the 15 million documents from before. So in this example, we are searching for artificial intelligence. And here we are searching for companies that have been acquired. So here we are searching for companies that have been acquired that are in the artificial intelligence field. So here we find the top articles that could be interesting or of that, uh, of that nature with this kind of information. So it has allowed us to filter and let's see if this information is actually relative. Visa Equity Partners acquires enterprise software. Well, this looks pretty pretty relevant for the search that we set up. Let's try customizing this search a little bit and maybe trying something else. So instead of artificial intelligence, let's try process. Process such as, uh, I don't know, uh, companies that deal with process discovery, process mining, process Okay, so we have, uh, mm -hmm. we again have some results. And uh, here we have also Signavio, uh, uh, which is, I, I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that correctly, so I apologize, uh, which is also, uh, I think it's a, it's, it's a BPM company. So this is pretty, this is pretty, this is pretty, interesting so as you can see uh, so much in inside with so little code and with so little setup so you could connect uh, IB Watson Discovery to many different pages web pages uh, such as uh, New York Times uh, such as whatever whatever news sites that you want it will filter it, it will collect all the information it will clean it out out of the not relevant information and it will just collect the information that you are interested in just some articles or articles or whatever kind of information you would like and i'll show you right now how that works so we have seen how queries work and this is just to show you this is the json that is returned it shows you also the, the the score the confidence and other enrichments that were applied by ibm onto this text so here we uh, here we see the different uh, enrichments of what we were talking before of uh, how IBM Watson Discovery has categorized, for example, this article. It has given it as positive, it has identified keywords in it, concepts, categories, text, and external links, and the title. Well, title is the title of the document. So, all right, back to, uh, uh, back to IBM Watson Discovery. And right now we are in the collection view. So this allows us to uh, understand uh, kind of what kind of documents we have and what kind of uh, information and how we can enrich this information. Now this information has already been enriched, so there is nothing for us to do here. We can just view maybe the documents if they uh, if they load. So we can view all the different articles that have been uh, that have been uploaded and how IBM Watson has structure them and extracted the different information from these articles. Now, if we go back to the main folder, we can create a new data. We can connect our, uh, create another folder in uh, IBM Watson Discovery. And in this folder, we can put a, a web crawl, we can link it to a web page, we can put our own documents and so on. But 
we are going to see this in detail in the uh, series that I'm making on how to build the world's smartest chatbot. Now, in this series, I will be creating a chatbot that is going to be connected to Watson Discovery and that is going to be pulling information dynamically from Watson Discovery based on the qu questions that you ask. And these questions, they are not going to be programmed inside. They are going to be uh, quite general. And uh, through artificial intelligence and machine learning and different models through Watson Discovery we, and uh, other tools, cloud functions and so on, we are going to pull this off and create the world's smartest chatbot. So if you're interested, don't forget to subscribe, like the channel and check out the link about the world's smartest chatbot. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.